Hello, Seas fans. Um, we're having our hot stove luncheon virtually this year, and that's a sad thing for me, and I'm sure it is for you, because the hot stove lunch is when we kick off the year and uh, we get to see a lot of friends and family and faces that we haven't seen for some time. So I'm sure missing you. Um, on behalf of Jake, myself, and Andy, I know we all hope that you're getting through this all right. It's been a tough time for everybody. Uh, we just hope and pray that you and your families are safe and sound. And we sure look forward to seeing you and we're optimistic about 2021, but I guess we all have to take it a step at a time. And so here we are virtually. Uh, as is our custom, I wanna to talk to you and update you on the Seas Foundation, which uh, we're very proud of and has been very successful. Going back to the beginning, uh, when our president, Andy Dunn, first raised the idea of a foundation, Jake and I were immediately on side. And um, it's been, uh, we think, a remarkable success. And it's been a success thanks to you. Uh, Minor League Baseball is all about community. This is a community endeavor and your support is absolutely instrumental and has been instrumental to the success of the foundation. As you've heard from me before, uh, one of the primary focuses of our foundation is uh, giving uh, youth that don't have the advantages that a lot of other kids do the chance to learn values, learn the values of team sport. Uh, Jake, Andy, and I all have spoken to the fact that team sports played a huge role in our early age development. I'm eternally grateful for the opportunities I had to participate in team sports and the life lessons it taught me. And we, uh, working with the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Coast BC, have been um, really excited about what we've been able to achieve. Uh, thanks to uh, our staff, thanks to the Boys and Girls Club staff, and thanks to a fantastic group of volunteers, too many to name, but thanks each and every one of you, you know who you are, who come out uh, when the team's on the road to work with these children, teach them baseball, but through baseball to teach them uh, values of team and uh, integrity and so on. Uh, so it's been a great success. We've had 2,500 kids uh, who otherwise wouldn't have had the chance to play baseball. Thanks to you, they've been able to do that. And as you know, we give them a, a complete uh, equipment package of a bat bag, a glove, a hat, a uniform, and a batting helmet, which are all required these days for baseball. And they are given that and get to keep it. So we're trying to turn every one of them into permanent baseball fans, but even more importantly, to teach them life lessons through the great sport of baseball. So that's been a, a very effective program with the Boys and Girls Club. The um, other thing we're doing, or one of the other things we did and have uh, supported is Challenger Baseball. And in 2017, we led an initiative to build the first Challenger field in Western Canada, right here in Vancouver. Uh, this gives children with disabilities the chance to learn to play baseball, to play it, to have the same fun as other kids. And it's been a great success. And we're uh, delighted that the foundation was able to play a key role in that. Uh, third thing we've done uh, over the years is to uh, help the UBC baseball program through providing scholarships for, again, for young people who might not be able to go to university and play baseball to be able to do that. And so we've been very pleased with that. Working with the Kate Group, a new initiative we have is the um, uh, a field uh, uh, initiative to help uh, minor league baseball at the little league level upgrade their fields and facilities so that more children can play baseball. Uh, it's been a challenge these days for a lot of organizations like Little League or associations to get the resources they need to keep the kids playing, to enlarge the number of kids playing and working with the uh, Cape Group. Uh, we've already awarded two $50,000 awards, one to Dunbar, one to Richmond so they can upgrade their facilities and we will be looking for applications for these awards in August of 2021 to grant the second group of awards to um, uh, Little League uh, baseball organizations and uh, to upgrade their fields and facilities. So 
we're proud of that new uh, new initiative and thankful to the Cape Group for their involvement and, and uh, partnership on that. Uh, I want to also speak briefly about the scholarship program that Suzanne and I started a few years back with, uh, with Andy's uh, help and, uh, and leadership. And that is uh, working with the Boys and Girls Clubs. We provide scholarships to uh, Boys and Girls Clubs members who are in their final years of high school and want to go on to post-secondary education. It's been a great success. We now have over 32 uh, children uh, who might not otherwise be at university and uh, post-secondary education, all the number of institutions. They can get a scholarship of up to $15,000 a year. And we have over 32 of them, as I say, uh, now uh, doing that and with many more to come. And in that regard, Suzanne and I are pleased to announce an increase in our commitment to that fund of $150,000 this year. Uh, finally, um, as is uh, usual, I want to ask you to help us out in the area of baseball. Uh, you've done a fantastic job. As I said earlier, we put 2,500 children through the program, more to come. Uh, but to do it, we need your help with equipment. So uh, as in the past, I'm going to ask you if you can, I know it's been a tough year, uh, but if you can spare $50 for a donation, that will buy a child a glove, a glove they get to keep and uh, play with and, and entertain themselves in a healthy, uh, positive fashion. And if you can afford $150, that would be fabulous as we will give, uh, that will mean they get a bat bag with a hat the uh, batting helmet, the glove, the uniform, uh, and, uh, and so that would be fantastic. So whatever you can do to help, we greatly appreciate. You've been so supportive, so helpful, made such a difference in these kids' lives. We hear from the Boys and Girls Club and the kids all the time about how much they love baseball at the Nat and what a difference it's made in these kids' lives. So. Whatever you can do, we really appreciate. I do want to mention, because of the uncertainty of COVID still at this time, that should the uh, uh, Little League or, or uh, Boys and Girls Club League not be able to play this summer uh, due to the, the COVID regulations and restrictions, we will work within those regulations and restrictions to provide events in cooperation with the Boys and Girls Club that will achieve our purposes of getting these kids together, albeit in smaller groups, perhaps, and teaching them the values of team and so on. So uh, we, we, uh, we're definitely in planning stages with the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, should that eventuality happen. But we're hopeful we'll be in a much better place and we can return to uh, lots of baseball this, uh, this summer. Uh, at some point. And in the meantime, again, I want to thank you again for everything you've done to enable the foundation to do the things it does for these kids in our community and to wish you and your family all the best and please stay safe. Thanks a million.